Hi, it's Jennifer, Rome Gallery, September issue. I didn't get the opportunity to interview all of my amazing, wonderful artists tonight at the Meet the Artist event. So I'm, they're all coming in to visit me during the week and I'm really happy about that. So today I have the incredibly talented photographer, Kat Kuzak. So Kat, first tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Sure, so uh, I'm a professional photographer and I've been in business for about 10 years now. Uh, my company is called Cat Eye Imaging and I focus on commercial photography and imaging enhancement. Uh, since moving to Vancouver three years ago, I also had the privilege of running a local event called Vault, otherwise known as Vancouver Alternative Arts and Fashion Week. And uh, it's been really successful. We're actually going into our fourth year this year. And I had the pleasure of meeting Jennifer recently, and she invited me to be part of her fashion-focused event. So I'm here showing some of my personal fashion photography that I've done over the years. Uh, these couple here I took back when I was in college and university. And the ones that you see uh, shown above here, I actually captured this year with a few local designers. And I even have another piece over in the window that I captured at Vault in year one of one of our local designers' house gallery boutique on the runway at Vault. Nice. Yeah. So my questions for the artist this month were, first of all, what photographer, artist most inspired you to do, the, to do this kind of work? Well, that's a hard question because there's so many amazing artists out there that I've had the pleasure of meeting over the years or just being inspired by. I would say, I guess, going all the way back to the beginning, when I was younger, my grandmother used to take me to the McMichael Art Gallery every year for March break. And so the group of seven actually was one of the first uh, inspirations for me. Uh, some of my other personal work is actually landscapes and wildlife. I love going canoeing, so I do a lot of that, which wow. is great. Um, other artists that I love, uh, Nick Bantock, who's an uh, artist and author. He does amazing collage type books with uh, correspondence via writing and letters you can open, very visually inspired. I also really love MC Escher, uh, who does amazing by hand 3D uh, two dimensional prints that are just super awe inspiring. So, something like this, you can definitely see some kind of MC Escher type nice. works in it. And my other question, because it, it's fashion-based and we have to be a bit frivolous, what's your most favorite, like when you think back of all the things you've ever worn, what's that, what's that piece? Also a tough question. Uh, my mom had some really eclectic type pieces in her closet that I used to play with and dress up uh, over the years with. So that was kind of, I guess, where it started. Uh, I love themed events. I love getting dressed up. Vault actually has themes every year, so that's great. We encourage all the attendees to what come dressed up. Uh, this year, the theme is Wild Spaces, and each night is uh, Terrestria, Celestia, and Aquatica. Oh, so hopefully you can all come out and get yeah. dressed up and be part of the you know, art experience. Perfect. Um, as for my favorite piece right now is actually pictured just up here. Uh, this necklace is by Carolyn Bruce Design Steampunk Jewelry. And she actually made me that piece custom for me to wear at Vault last year. And uh, she just had an event on Thursday where I got to sport it all up again. And uh, people just love the piece because they just, it's so big and impactful. And everyone's just like, it was made just for you. And I'm like, she's, it was. <laughs> and she's local and she's spectacular. When I've yeah. had her in the gallery, I've sold her work. It's just the best. So yes, Carolyn, you should be in Nordstrom's to get your jewelry. <laughs> And it was great because I actually had her make it for a dress that I was wearing by this designer, Trish P of Tastemakers, who does a, kind of a good, a feel good, look good, do good collection. And so this was kind of bringing awareness to uh, the disappearing of bees and how we need bees again. And I'm actually learning how to beekeep this fall, so I also believe There's wear and do. <laughs> and uh, this is one of her newer pieces. She's doing an entire kind of underwater collection, and she's showing at Aquatica this year at Vault. Oh, fun. Yeah. So what are the dates at Vault? So November 20th to 22nd. Okay. So each night that weekend is a different theme, and it's so much fun. We really encourage everybody to come out and have a good time. And that's, is that right after the crawl? Or I believe so. I think it's, I, I'm not sure. It might be the same weekend as East Coast. Like so you've got lots yeah. of, lots of lots great things going, going on. on in the city. I better not have an opening that weekend. <laughs> I wouldn't blame anybody. Anyway, Kat, really great to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you so, so nice much. working with you. You as well. Thanks again. Come to Rome Gallery.